All right guys, what's going on? Welcome to the video. So in this one, I'm making a half pound smoked jalapeno popper burger. It's gonna be freaking awesome, I guarantee it. So stick around and check it out. So right here, I got a chuck roast. If you want to use a combination of chuck roast and short rib, you could use brisket, you could use some, uh, some shank if you want to use that. But I find that using just a chuck roast works out pretty well. All I'm gonna do is just cube this up. All right, so now I got that meat all chopped up, as you can see. So I'm gonna run it through this meat grinder right here on the coarse setting two times, just so the meat kind of mixes with the fat pretty well. And then we're gonna form the burger. Now obviously, if you just wanna to go to the store and get some 80-20 ground beef, that's obviously what most people are gonna do. But if you got a meat grinder, highly recommend, highly suggest. Grind your own meat, see how it is. No pink slime, you know exactly what you're getting. All right, so I got the burger meat all ground up as you can see. So what I'm doing is half pound patties because I want to throw these on the smoker and get a good smoke on these burgers and sear them off. Then I got all the other ingredients in there for the, uh, the jalapeno popper element that's going to this. So I'm being precise using a scale right here. You're looking for like 226 grams or eight ounces, whichever you prefer to measure by. That looks good, just go with that. So if you guys watch Chud's videos, you've probably seen this burger press before. I'll link it down below if you want to pick one of these up. But I like using this just because it's super consistent. It gets a good shape to the burger. All right, there we go. As you can see, nice half pound burger. I'm gonna let this rest in the fridge for a little while, let the meat kind of bind together a little bit. Probably let it go a couple hours. Then we're gonna throw it on the smoke and we're gonna make a burger. So right here I have all the typical ingredients you would see in jalapeno poppers. I got some cream cheese right here. Got a little bit of bacon, or a lot of bacon. A few jalapenos, I'm gonna throw these on the smoke. We got our burger patty that's been hanging out. I'm just doing really simple seasoning on this. Got some AP, salt, pepper, garlic. Just gonna get a good amount of seasoning on there. Also on that cream cheese, just sprinkle it on. I'm gonna get all this stuff on a rack. So I got the burger, got the cream cheese, got the jalapenos. I got the mill scale, 94 gallon offset smoker coming up to temperature. I'm probably going around 250 degrees. I'll take these out right now and get them on the smoke. All right, so I got everything going on there. So with the jalapenos, I just want these to get soft and pliable and get a little bit of color on them. With the cream cheese, it's probably gonna go like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I just wanna get a little bit of darkness around the edges. And then with the burger, I wanna monitor the internal temperature. I wanna to get to like 125 in the middle. If it happens to go over a little bit, it's not that big of a deal, just cause it's a burger and it's not, you know, I'm not too worried about it, but I'm gonna smoke all this stuff up, keep eye on it. We're gonna sear the burger off and make the burger. It's gonna be good as hell. All right, so this is up to temperature right here. Taking the probe out, 125 internal. Got this cream cheese kind of melting through the grates a little bit. Common sense would tell you that smoking cream cheese, you know, it's gonna melt, but I probably should have watched more videos on it. Um, I got the jalapenos over here, closer to the fire, getting a little soft. Needs a little more time on those. Take this off. Just gonna let this sit here for a little bit and we're gonna be good. So I got some bacon cooking right here, as you can see. You're probably wondering why I didn't throw this on the smoker with all the other food and get it nice and smoky. But the reason being is because this is already smoked anyway. And I want some bacon grease to run off this bacon. I want to get it nice and crispy. And I want to sear the burger in that bacon fat. So that's why I'm cooking it in the pan. So you can do it however you want. But I feel like I got enough smoky stuff going on in the smoker. So it's going to be good anyway. So, All right, so this is our smoked cream cheese after an hour and a half on the smoke. I tried to save it the best I could. So it's starting to slip through the cracks a little bit. So since I'm gonna be spreading this on the burger anyway, I'm just gonna press this all through. Got our crispy bacon. I'm just gonna rough chop this up. I'm 
And to add a little brininess to this, I got some uh, pickled jalapenos right here. Just gonna rough chop those. Just gonna mix all this up. Now I got these smoked jalapenos right here. They've been sitting in this container steaming for a little bit just so they get a little more pliable. All I'm gonna do, cut off the stem, slice it down the center, kind of open it up a little bit. It could be cooked a little more, but I'm just gonna scrape out the insides. So the way I'm gonna make this burger is, I got these jalapenos right here. I'm gonna have these flat and put them on top of the burger, then I'm gonna put the cheese on top of that after I sear it. Then I got that cream cheese filling I'm gonna put on the buns. Simple as that, it's gonna taste Amazing, hopefully. So here we go. I got some bacon grease. Get a little bit out in there. With the burger, I'm going like a minute, minute and a half on each side. We should be good. Get that fake ass American cheese. The half pound smoked jalapeno popper burger. Looks about medium. Hell yeah. It's got a good amount of spice in there. Definitely tastes all the smoky elements. It's not over smoked, cheesy, beefy. I 100% recommend you try this out. Even if you do smash burgers, it'll be really good like that. If you don't have an offset smoker, use any smoker you have. It's gonna turn out great, I guarantee it. But thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. See you in the next video, peace out, thank you.